Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to enable battery percentage on your iPod Touch without jailbreaking. So a lot of you guys have been requesting this video, so I'm excited to finally be making it. Now an important disclaimer before I start the video, the method that I'm about to show you will only work on the iPod Touch 5th generation and lower, or the iPod Touch 6th generation on iOS 10.2 or earlier. If you have an iPod Touch on iOS 10.2.1 or later, this method unfortunately will not work for you. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on my iPod Touch 3rd generation, and let's get on with the video. So as you know, you can't enable the battery percentage in settings on your iPod Touch like you can on your iPad or iPhone. Now the reason for this is that the iPod Touch lacks the sensor that gives an accurate reading of the battery that the iPhone and iPad have. No one knows why this is, but it can be annoying not having battery percent, especially if you own an iPhone or iPad in addition to your iPod Touch. So today, I'm going to show you how to enable the battery percentage on any iPod Touch running iOS 10.2 or lower. Again, if you have a 6th generation iPod Touch and you're running iOS 10.2.1 or higher, this method will not work, unfortunately. So here is what you will need. Of course you'll need your iPod Touch. You will also need a lightning or 30 pin cable, depending on which generation of iPod you have. And you will also need a Windows or Mac computer. Now on your computer you're going to need to install two programs. The first one is iTunes, which I'm sure most of you guys have, but if you don't I'll have a link to download it in the description box below. And you're also going to need a program called iBackupBot, and I'll have that linked down below as well. So we're going to start by plugging the iPod into the computer. And now we're going to open up iTunes. Once you're in here, you're going to click on the Device tab up at the top, and in here you're going to find the Backups section. So make sure this computer is selected and not iCloud. And also, if you have the Encrypt Local Backup box checked, make sure to uncheck that. And then go ahead and click on Backup Now. And as you can see, it is now backing up the iPod Touch. So once that is finished, you're going to close out of iTunes. Now we're going to open iBackupBot. Now this might take a few minutes to load, and if you see any error messages pop up, just click OK. Like this one, just click OK. And wait for it to load up. And now, once we're inside, we're going to find the backup we just created on the side right here. So it will have the date and time, so you'll be able to find it easily. So you're going to click on it, and then click this little plus button next to it, and click System Files. Now in here, we're going to go up to the search bar, and type in com.apple.springboard.plist. Just like that, as you can see, and hit enter. Now in here, you'll see two files. So we want to find the larger of the two files. So in this case, 1.3 kilobytes is larger than 445 bytes. So I'm going to click on the second one. And if this comes up, just click cancel. And now you'll see this window pop up. Now in here, you're going to click right where it says D-I-C-T and hit enter. And then hit tab. And now, just type in exactly what I type, and I'll also have this in the description box below, so you can copy and paste it if you want to. So we're going to type less than key greater than SB show battery level less than slash key greater than, and then hit enter, less than true slash greater than. And now we're going to save this, so there should be icons up here, I don't know why I don't have them, but it's just going to be the one on the far left here, save changes, and now close out of this window. And now close out of iBackupBot. Now we're going to open iTunes again, and click on the device. Now we're going to go back down to the backups page, and this time we're going to hit restore backup. So make sure the one that you just created is selected. If it's not, you can use this drop down and then click restore. Now it's started and once it's finished, you should have the battery percentage on your iPod touch. 
So it's finished restoring and you can see that now I have the battery percentage right there in the top corner. So it's as simple as that and now you have battery percentage there on your iPod Touch. Now this will stay there even after you turn off and turn back on the device. It will stay there after you update even if you update past iOS 10.2. However, it will go away if you go ahead and reset all settings or erase all content and settings. So just keep that in mind. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you. And if it did, don't forget to leave a like. And thanks for watching. Bye.